Hello, I'm Alicia. You are watching Jamly TV, and this is my bestie Meredith. <laughs> So, what do you guys think of this? My sister-in-law said I look like Jimmy Neutron's mom. Do you guys even know who that is? Who aren't from America? Uh, and she is not wrong. <laughs> I just chopped off all my hair. I cut off like 20 inches. Because I'm trying to grow out. I have like so much gray hair. Like I might even have all gray hair. I'm trying to figure it out. I cut it short so I could grow it and see. I'm going to do like temporary colors that fade as they wash out. Hopefully they stick to my gray hair. We'll see. But today we're going to eat Thai food together. So Yay! exciting. <laughs> Samoa needs Thai food desperately. But I'm so excited to go eat some for lunch. I'll show you the yummy food that that we're eating and tonight I'm excited I'm flying to Florida which is where my family is where I'm from originally I'm gonna go surprise my family there they don't even know I'm in Meleke they don't even know I'm in America so it'd be a fun surprise Tom Ka since we were in New Zealand last Christmas and the Tom Ka I had there was the best Tom Ka I've ever had in my life and I want those people to move to Samoa. <laughs> but I'm excited. I have Tom Ka and a salad and some yellow curry. What'd you get? Pad Ki Mao with uh, tofu and extra vegetables. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> what else did you get? And then I got, <laughs> wow, I got two meals, guys. <laughs> I'm bringing some home to Ivy so it's not all gonna be eaten by me. So this is yellow curry with extra vegetables, no meat. You Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back mm -hmm. I'm on my way to the airport right now I'm going to surprise my family um, One of my sisters knows I'm coming And she's picking me up from the airport in Florida tonight I'm really excited to see all of them It's been too long So let it all So I'm in my sister's beautiful big kitchen and she's cooking beans. She makes fresh beans and they're amazing. But look at this, beautiful bell peppers or capsicum, whatever you call it. The amount of peppers that went in there would cost like 150 tala on Samoa or something. I'm so excited to eat them. <laughs> I'm the youngest of five kids. I have one brother who's the oldest and then three sisters. And I'm at the second to youngest sister's house right now. My parents don't know I'm here. They are coming over in a little bit. She invited them over for dinner and so I am waiting for them to arrive so I can surprise them. Sorry with this video, I'm not filming everything. I don't have the vlogging camera. I left that in Samoa with Joe. I'm just filming with my phone, just trying to capture some of these moments that are special while I'm on this trip and to help Joe and the girls see what I've been up to and show some of the time that I have with family and friends and hopefully you guys enjoy some of it too. Are you guys gonna try and get that?
This is my first time at this house. They bought it not too long ago. They're still actually kind of moving in. Beautiful property. They have like seven acres and so pretty. It actually reminds me when Joe and I first got married, we lived in an apartment. It was pretty nice, but the backyard was amazing. It was a lot like this with these huge oak trees with Spanish moss hanging down from them. And then behind that was a river, so pretty. But yeah, these big trees with the Spanish moss kind of remind me of that, love it. You won't get closer to me If you won't open your door If that's what you want, then baby, try to believe me When I say that you can tell me anything I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back mm. Baby, you won't make up your mind Now I'm here by your side So let it all out of me Let it all out of me Oh, I will hold you I had a convertible in high school and grew up in Florida. So sad leaving my parents. Love you, Mom and Dad. When lights go out Back in Dallas, I'm here for a week and a day to sell the house, sell everything I need to sell, buy things I need to buy. So I flew into an airport in Dallas called Love Field, which is a smaller airport. Now I'm on my way to DFW, the big international airport, because my other best friend, Charity, is flying in. They moved to Utah when we moved to Samoa. Her brother-in-law is a pilot, so she gets sweet flight deals. So I'm picking her up, and now she's going to surprise Meredith. We were all roommates in college at BYU Hawaii and they're like sisters to me. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I had to stop and put air in my tires. Luckily I had the exact amount of quarters that I needed to put in the little machine. My knuckles are all dirty now. <laughs> hey honey, want a ride? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, oh, hi, no. oh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad you came. I was really stressing about leaving, but I'm like, I'm now Just so do excited. Just do it! So, this 
this brings back memories when we all lived in Hawaii together. We were all roommates and Meredith had a Jeep that she and I drove across the country from Florida to California and shipped it to Hawaii <laughs> and that was the car we drove around in and now they have a Jeep again. We're driving it sadly to the airport to drop Charity off. We're hoping she doesn't make her flight. <laughs> yep. I might strategically miss that. <laughs> Good times uh, in Jeeps. Good friends. <laughs> I will save you a space for a dance in the meadow. God sent us a lightning storm. I, I love it. He's like, you guys need more time together. Yeah, one day, not long enough. A couple hours. Today is the day. We're selling our beautiful home. I'm on my way to closing. Sign it all away. Not awesome, but helps us reach the other goals and dreams we have set for ourselves. So here we go. When spring is coming. She was super nice, the lady that handled closing, so that made it a little nicer. We just chatted the whole time as I signed it all the way. But yeah, now we can keep making vlogs and trying to help promote Samoa to the world, push some of the other goals and dreams that we have. So it is a good decision, just a little bit painful. Esa chica quiere, esa chica quiere selfie, selfie, ella quiere ver Pa' que el CV se dé cuenta que aquí perdió esa mujer Lo que quiere es enloquecer, ser la mujer que él quería ver Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie, que yo parezca en mí Favorina es Joe's baby sister, and she has a volleyball game tonight at Zara's old middle school, where Zara had many a volleyball practice herself. Can't believe it's only been a little over a year since Zara went to school here. It feels like a lifetime ago. You guys, it's like winter here in Texas all of a sudden today. There were some rainstorms last night and it brought in a cold front. It's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm chilly. I have luckily a little three quarter sleeve cardigan <laughs> and I don't have any closed toed shoes. It reminds me of when Joe's cousin and his wife moved to live with us in Texas. All she had were slippers and like no jacket or anything. I'm like, how is that even possible? But Sana, I totally understand now. <laughs> There's no need for winter clothes in Samoa. Solamente en sus sueños Nos ponemos risueños Con un norteño Y mi flow brasileño Meredith, how much do those sauces cost? Sí, sauces We just finished eating at Grub Which was so yum And now we're gonna go get our nails done Manny Petty's at this place that stays open Till like midnight for moms Hard working moms <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy and also lazy But you should meet me and my friends Even though we got no money For sure it's all funny Yeah, everything's better with them We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh We don't worry about tomorrow I was thinking I was doing pretty good packing our stuff. I have one suitcase full. I have another suitcase with more than half space available still. Made some priority mailboxes that I can ship to Pongo. And I just got home and this is what Joe sent from Amazon. 
one of the last things we were buying here were some gifts for our friends in Samoa. And we were trying to think of what to get and Joe wanted to get t-shirts made me realize some of our good friends actually started a t-shirt company recently. They're called Honey Butter Tees and they're super cute designs. Custom make their orders and our friends Charlie and Alexis. Charlie's actually in this video up here for my Laughing Moms channel. Super talented musician and he married a super talented artist. She's an animator and creator and just really talented and started this t-shirt business. So our friends are getting some super cute t-shirts. This might be the best one. It says, surely not everyone was kung fu fighting and <laughs> we're giving it to our friend Altea who just happens to be like a kung fu master and is teaching kung fu in Samoa. So so I couldn't resist. <laughs> So I'm here visiting Joel's dad. He is very missed and we wish you were able to be with us in Samoa. I'm sure he comes to visit in spirit. He's so adventurous. He joined the Peace Corps, this little white boy from Minnesota, went to Tonga in the 60s and eventually made his way to Samoa and American Samoa where he met Joe's mom. Not a lot of people even considered things like that back then. And I'm sure Joe gets a lot of his sense of adventure from his dad. I don't think we've ever shared this story but it's something I'd like to document for a family. Joe's dad passed away kind of unexpectedly. He had cancer, but he actually died from complications other than cancer. And I was pregnant with Magnolia and I'd been going into labor for like two weeks. I was past my due date. And this day, Joe was at the hospital with his dad and he came home early. Everything was fine. As soon as he got home, I told him, I think I'm in labor. He was called to come back to the hospital that everything was no longer fine. As the hours progressed, they knew he probably wasn't going to make it through the night. He passed away at about 8 p.m. on December 1st and my water broke an hour later and so Joe came straight from the hospital being with his dad where he passed away to meet me at the birthing center. My sister was with me and my best friend came. This was the first birth my mom wasn't able to be there for and so my sister's messaging my mom all of the stuff. She messaged that Joe's dad had passed away, that my water broke, that I'm going to the birthing center. When the baby comes, she messages her pictures of the baby and everything. Magnolia Noli was born almost exactly three hours after Joe's dad passed. And we never heard from my mom, which was unusual. And the next day, my mom woke up. Apparently her ringer was broken on her phone. She didn't see any of our messages. And she woke up and she was going to call me because that night as she slept, she said she had the most incredible dream. And in her dream, she saw, see me, Jim. She said he was healthy and looked wonderful. And he was with Magnolia, our baby. And she said he was playing with her and dancing with her and telling her all about the family. She was getting ready to come to and not to be sad. We're scared because how much her family will love her and what an amazing life she had ahead of her. So my mom woke up to tell me that she had this dream of Jim and Noli together. And then before she called, she saw the messages that Jim had passed and that Noli was born. And I'm sure of the fact that they spent that time together, those few precious hours before she came to Earth to join our family. And I know she was waiting for him. That's why she didn't come, even though I'd been in labor so many times the previous two weeks. And she kind of helped soothe some of the pain of losing Jim. Her birthday is sometimes bittersweet as we remember Jim moving on to his missionary call to the spirit world. And she's named after him. Her name is Magnolia James Samoana. And James is after him and Samoana. Joe's mom loves that song. But it was a very special experience for our family and something that I don't want lost to memory or time. We love you, Simi. We miss you. <laughs> I hung out with Simi for a little longer, but as I'm leaving, I felt like I should say, for any of you who may be wondering or 
struggling. We have great faith in the afterlife, great faith, hope, and gratitude for the gift of resurrection we've been given through Jesus Christ. And we know there are ways, steps that can be taken so that families can be together eternally after this life. So if you ever wonder those things or question those things, feel free to message us. We would love the opportunity to share our beliefs with you because they bring so much peace and joy and comfort in our lives. So now I am going to take Joe's brother and his family and his sister and her family and a cousin out to dinner to Thai food again. I've eaten Thai a few times. It's one of the things I miss the most in Samoa. So I'm excited. We're going to Noodle Wave and it's going to be delicious. fruits we buy that's imported in Samoa. They're easy and the girls like them, and especially in their lunches and stuff, or we buy apples over there. They're pretty small and I'm staying at my friend's house and I woke up and grabbed an apple for breakfast. It's huge! <laughs> it's like so big! This is cut in half and half is probably maybe the size of an apple in Samoa. Maybe even like a third of this is an apple we get in Samoa. So some things I do miss about the States. These are two of my favorites What's up? ever and we love her. I know. I love the best. Oh. This is Lauren and Sydney and they're both getting ready to go on missions. Tell where. Uh, probably Utah, Spanish speaking. Calgary, Canada, English! Yeah. <laughs> So I told them they need to thaw out when they're done with their missions and come visit us. So I love you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> look at my little nieces. They're so little. Oh, I love them. Hey guys. Love you. So hard to see. I'm allergic to gluten free people. us to eat quickly together before I head down to the airport. I have three bags. One is a bin that is the lightest, so the other two are right at 50 pounds, so if they say they're over on their scale, hopefully I can like fit something into this little bin. And then I brought duct tape so I can tape it closed. Wish me luck on this crazy adventure to make it back to Samoa. Thank you, Kame. I love you. I miss you. <laughs> hey, this is Rodney, guys. You want to hope you get him when you come here because he can know how much your bags weigh and then be so nice helping you. And he gives you scissors when you have to duct tape your bags. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and today Actually surprising the kids, the kids don't know this They think Alicia's coming home tomorrow I'm going to the airport to pick her up right now And then I'm going to drop her off at the house And then I'm going to go pick the kids up from school So be nice to surprise those kids with their mama today Yeah, yeah, I love surprises Tonight I'm thinking that I don't want to go Want to go Calling sick in the morning Oh, 
<laughs> Look where I am. Look Alicia. Who I'm with. <laughs> Alicia's finally back mm -hmm. home. Yay! We've missed her for three and a half weeks and she's back home. And now it's time to go surprise the girls. They're gonna be so excited. They think she's coming home tomorrow. She's here today. Yay! <laughs> so Joe just dropped me off at home. We actually moved into a new house. We're still moving in. Joe's been moving in while I've been gone. He's on his way to pick up the girls. They're gonna come home and be very surprised that I'm here and that I look like a boy since I chopped off all my here. <laughs> but I'm so excited to see them. Why'd you move the table? <laughs> I knew that's what was going to happen right after Moses and right after he said, oh my god, you locked it. Because you would never do that. <laughs> it feels so bad. That you're coming on the BT Airways, and then, oh, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> <Just> realize? <laughs> you're like me now. <laughs> oh, I love you girls. I love you so much. No, they do even know who I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look so different. I like your long hair. You're a new phone. <laughs> She just woke up. She just woke up. Mommy, I got a Barbie. I got a new Barbie. What? Yeah. You love Mama? You happy Mama's home? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy Mama's home too. I don't wanna go.